Dear Brothers I am Atama. I will comment on Chapter 8 of Book 3 of Telos. Many are worried if our journey ends here. I would say yes, because the journey of Telos brings knowledge and openness of heart. But, don't get too excited or despair if you think you need to have the next books. The journey of Telos ends in Book 3. But nothing will stop us from continuing to talk. Not in this sequence we're doing. I will come here to comment on the other books, but it will not be part of Hornada de Telos. The journey of Telos ends in Book 3. Are the other books important? They are, but they are not part of the journey. So we will end this journey with the three books. If you then want to purchase the next books, just as a basis for your journey, that's fine, but the journey ends in Book 3. But back to today's chapter. Today the people of Machu Picchu present themselves. It's interesting how there are so many things, so many buildings, so many ruins on your planet, and that you try to imagine or understand, or know who lives there, how they lived there. And much has been discovered that these are constructions far beyond their time. And if they existed so many millennia ago, how come? If you learned many things recently, I believe that in everyone's mind, there is already awareness and certainty that this planet was populated by many civilizations. This was the initial objective, to create a new race, the race of planet Earth. But what would this race have as its basis? It would develop with other civilizations around it, so that it would have some type of progress, or I can say and guarantee that you would still be in the Stone Age. Nothing evolution would have happened. The entire evolution of the planet was thanks to the technologies brought by all of us, very evolved souls who arrived here. And we managed to implement a lot. And the very souls that were born on this planet began to live among us, learning a lot, evolving their mental abilities. And so his world developed. And this happens with any planet. It is necessary for more evolved civilizations to arrive and bring the source, the seed of evolution. And from time to time when it's time for a new leap, a new soul and brings new ideas and new concepts. But back to talking about Machu Picchu. Does anyone know where the bodies of those who lived there are? The bodies that were found due to wars do not justify such a city. Where are? What happened to them? Well, as said in this chapter, they went to the interior of the earth just like us. And they are there still evolving and participating in this entire process that is happening on the surface. It is interesting for you to know that much of what you do to your planet has much greater consequences than you think. As they explain in this chapter, we all make a point of cleaning a lot of things, the air, the water, so that there is life on the planet, otherwise you would have already perished as a civilization. Everything that was created in your world to pollute, to spoil, both the surface and the planet's air, was very well planned. In the name of supposed evolution, anything could be done, and today you are reaping a lot. Of course, don't just believe in the return of what you did. A good part of what is happening on your planet right now is part of Gaia's ascension process, where energies need to be released and transmuted. And so it will happen. The process will not stop. But it is important to know that our constant help in cleaning your skies and waters, as far as we can do, we have done. Many think that after the awakening of humanity, we and the Galactic Brothers will come in here and simply with a big flash we will clean everything, and everything will be wonderful. Now, my brothers, don't be so innocent, don't be so naive. Shall we help them? Yes. We will give you the tools you are the ones who will do the cleaning, not us. Yes, we will help, providing tools that allow for a quick recovery, but we will do nothing. We will help you clean the planet. Will everyone accept this? Obviously not, as many will think that such tools will come to destroy the planet. But for those who believe, we will be here, with our arms loaded with instruments to help you with this change. Understand what happened at each point of evolution on this planet. 
Some civilizations perish, others stay. There has never been a total extinction of the planet. And there won't be. There will only be a change in dimension. Then Gaia will rise, she will move to the fifth dimension. And whoever is ready, whoever is on the path, whoever has their heart prepared for this change, will go with Gaia. It will be like a, a moment of great light, in which those whose hearts are enlightened will be attracted by this light. And at the right time, you will be drawn into this ascension current created by Gaia. I can guarantee you that the number is increasing. Many are letting themselves be enveloped by the light that arrives, and as if by magic they begin to question everything and think differently. These are starting a journey, a journey that will not be easy or simple, because the cleansing of your souls is not easy. There needs to be a lot of heart involved. But each of you is at a point, and certainly to reach the higher levels, you will need to know and transmute everything. Myth still judge. Many still point fingers. But there will come a time when they will see what their souls have done and will feel ashamed for having once pointed the finger at another. No one here is outside this process. Everyone will pass by him. All. Because you need to know what your souls have done, so that you can evolve, so that you can learn to look at others without judgment. And most importantly, look at yourself without judgment. This is the way. When you reach this point you will be attracted by that movement that Gaia is making towards ascension. But you need to be ready, that you stop believing in everything you have already learned. Start listening to your own heart. Often what is said is to be thought about, not simply followed. Learn to listen to your hearts, and you will certainly get where you need to go. Because the only thing that is needed right now is unconditional love. And you can only achieve this with your heart.